The following video may contain views and opinions that differ from yours. If you don't like it, tough shit. So then, that last Ripzilla video I did, did a lot better than I expected it to do. So, thank you to everybody that's watched and subscribed. But going back and looking at that video has just made me think for a bit since I made it, right? Ripzilla's kind of funny, in a way. Like, he's a lot like a lot of other bigger YouTubers. You know, like, he's quite like Onision as I compared him to at points in that video. Why, you ask? Well, the biggest one is the lack of any accountability whatsoever, right? Ripzilla is not one to own up to everything, or anything, excuse me. He's not one to own up to anything. That's evident in the fact that whenever he's busted doing something scummy, or nasty, or just downright inappropriate, call it what you will, he lies, bullshits, makes excuses, diverts. It's never puts his hand up and owns up to his mistakes. That's what I want to talk about today, is it's a pattern with Ripzilla, and it's a pattern with some of these bigger YouTubers. That's why I'm talking about Ripzilla and his manipulation, and his manipulative behavior. Because it's a trademark of Ripzilla, and it's essentially what his entire channel is, as I said. From go to woe, it's manipulation. It's manipulating his audience through... Before the videos have even started, the lighting... The hair that eats up three cans of hairspray every time he does it in the morning. Because fuck the ozone layer, right? You've got views to get. The little pretty emo boy look. The hillbilly accent. Hi, my name's Incest All Might. And I'm here to lie to you again today because I think you're all idiots. I mean, positive. <laughs> So, he's manipulating you from the get-go. So then when he gets snapped in these lies, like the things he says about Marcy, or the things he's done with Leafy Greens, or any of the multitude of lies he's told over the years, he, he never puts his hand up. It's always some silly excuse, some ridiculous lie, some asinine bullshit that doesn't make any sense if you've got any critical thinking skills, and he throws it out on the table. And it's pathetic. As I say, there are others that have done this. Onision has made it a trademark. Onision's a dead horse because pretty much everybody at this point accepted that Greg's a trash human being. Nothing's going to happen. He's never going to suffer any serious consequences. He wants the attention. It's been years, nothing's been done, so what's the fucking point? Lacey Green did it when she brought Roaming Millennial, aka Lauren Chen, her first bit of fame a few years back. Lauren used Lacey's face in a thumbnail, Lacey filed a bullshit copyright complaint, shit hit the fan, people called Lacey out, Lacey lied some more, people called her out some more, she threw out a bunch of more copyright complaints, then lied about that, when this shit could have been over in five seconds, had she just put her hand up and gone, yep, okay, dick move on my part, my bad. Hell, as far as smaller YouTubers go, for those of you that know Must Destroy All, Instead of putting his hand up and admitting, yep, I'm a nonce, he made the no you is no you you've ever seen. It wasn't a video going, yep, I shouldn't have been such a scumbag. It was, ah, oh, yeah, well, you're calling me out. Ah, oh, well, this guy made this video, you did this. Yeah, well, this other guy, you did this. This other girl, you did this. Ha, huh, screw you. Rather than, yep, I fucked up. And it seems to be a problem with these people. How hard is it to put your hand up admit you did something scummy, and endeavor to be a better human being. Let's take me. I've noticed that over the last while, I've slowly started turning into a less douchey Kiwi Undertaker Freak 1127 in terms of an attitude. Getting short with people, getting snippy with people, getting pissed off at my friends, not exactly being the best mate. You know what I did? Had a word to some of my mates, apologized, and said, I'm going to endeavor to try being a better person. 
I might fall off the wagon every now and then, I might revert now and then, but the point is, I've put my hand up and said, yep, this is some shit I need to work on, and I'm trying to work on it. I want to be a better person, and I'm trying. As I say, might not necessarily succeed all the time, but I'm making steps because I recognize there's a problem there. But then I'm not one of these YouTubers, one of these big ones, that thinks that if I'm actually open and honest about myself, my core audience of idiots isn't going to like me. And I'm not saying my audience is idiots, I'm saying that people like Repzilla draw in the dumbest people on the planet. And they rub their hands together because they know that's a bunch of people they can manipulate. Your smart ones with critical thinking skills are going to do what a bunch of people have done en masse and unsub from Repzilla. His sub count's tanking, but he's still got a pretty decent sub count. But, the ones that are sticking around are the ones that he can say anything to, and they'll buy it because they want to buy it. They want to buy into the false positivity bullshit. They want to believe that in spite of all evidence to the contrary, this trailer park Johnny Bravo is a good guy. They want to believe the... Come on, guys, leave positivity turtles in the comments. The positivity turtles match my HIV status. I shouldn't have given that guy Gobby in a gas station bathroom. Oh, shit, I shouldn't have said that out loud. Oops. They'll buy into anything he says. Because he's pretty. They want to believe. And he's perfectly willing to feed into that false belief. Rather than put his hand up and go, yep, I screwed up. I'm only human. I'm not the shiny golden god I try and pass myself off as. And it's not hard. And the fact this dude's 32 years old makes it even sadder. You're a grown man, Shane. You're old enough to have kids the same age as most of your fans, 16, 17 year olds, if you got started early. I know people that age with kids that age. My hometown, they do start early, whatever. But regardless, this dude's old enough to at least have had one kid by now, maybe. And he acts like a teenage boy himself. Dude, you're a big YouTuber. You're not going to take that much of a hit by admitting you've fucked up. In fact, it's actually a pretty good personality trait to have the willingness to learn and grow as a human being. Instead, you'd rather sit there and lie to appeal to the dumb part of your fan base that will stick around no matter what because they make you feel good. Sometimes being an adult isn't about feeling good. Sometimes being an adult absolutely sucks. You roll with the punches. You have accountability for your actions, Repzilla. You don't take the Marcy thing and try and turn it on Marcy. You don't take the thing with this woman you had a falling out with and go, oh, she's a stalker and try and get your obnoxious little fans up in her grill. You don't message a bunch of people about leafy greens and tell them to leave your name out of it so you've got crap to rant about and then just go, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You own up to the scummy shit you do and then you endeavor not to do it again. You learn to be a better person. You don't continue to be trash. And that's the point. And you could almost give the not growing and moving on a pass if you were a young teenage boy like your dress. But you're not. You're a 32-year-old man. Act your age, not your IQ, bro. It's not that hard. Stop lying to everybody. Stop pretending you don't do anything wrong when you know as well as everybody else does you do a lot wrong. You wouldn't be in the center of a shitstorm right now if you were infallible. You're not infallible, bro. You're very fallible. And it's time to grow up and admit it. And maybe... You might earn some of that fan base that's pissed off back if you show some damn integrity and learn. It's not hard to do, bro. It's called being a grown-up. So grow up. I'm Damien Skyfire. Till next time.